Hello everybody, welcome to Blue Marble Science and welcome to Flat Earth Experiments episode number one. Hey, what could possibly go wrong other than everything? Warning, severe facial and monitor damage alert is in effect. Get out the oven mitts, push the monitors back out of punching range and Gladys, forget about the dumpster fire. Let's just have some fun. Our first contestant will be Mr. Chris Berry. Duplicating the Cavendish experiment, which took Cavendish an entire year to do, Chris manages to pull it off in about 20 minutes. It's amazing! Well, what do we got here? Looks like a plastic level suspended from a little piece of wire. Now, that's a trailer hitch ball, and it's attached to the level with some painter's tape. Well, whatever works. Hey, you're going to need some big weights, though. Those will be hard to find. Oh, you found some. Kettle weights, of course. Why didn't I think of that? Let's see what happens. Hey, look, it's moving. Yes, we are successful. Or maybe not. Nope. It's going the other way. Hmm. I know. I know what the problem is. Let's move those mothers closer. I mean, like, real close. Now this ought to do. Hey, look, it's moving. Look, look, we got it. Now we got it. Uh, yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, crap. Did you remember to close the garage door? Alan! 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 Al! Alan! 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 D! 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 Well, that Cavendish guy must have been cheating. That's the only thing I can think of. Chris's conclusion? Well, the bar won't stop moving around, therefore, the experiment doesn't work. Of course. Next up is contestant number two, Brian's Logic. He thinks he heard me say something I don't think I said, but let's listen anyway. Randy, um, Blue Marble Science is in chat and he's calling us basically a crowd of idiots. I didn't Would say you that. Would you share my screen again just to <laughs> address him there on what he said earlier today on Jose's? Hey, I didn't call you guys idiots. She did. Are we understanding each other? Huh? You're an idiot! Yeah, 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 sure. I mean... <laughs> no, I don't... It, has he got a channel, this Blue Marble guy? Has he got a channel? Huh? Yeah, it's the, it's the... Ah, oh, tell me you know Blue Marble. Come on, he's the guy with the pipe, which isn't a container. Uh... Oh, is that the guy? Right, okay. Um, yeah, I wasn't even aware that he had a proper channel. I thought it was just... I thought oh, it was a proper channel. Okay. Putting that video out. <laughs> According to him, we're a pair of idiots uh, in the chat there. So I just want to, if you don't mind, I'm just going to share and just show that uh, all of Jar again, if that's okay. Okay. Yeah, you share, you're sharing now. Yeah, go ahead. I, I didn't want to go show under Ant unless I, I, I made it totally okay. Okay, this is for you, Blue Marble Science. <clears throat> oh. Today on Jose's, the bit I listened to, you claimed that you did not understand why, why you could see more things with a higher camera uh, <clears throat> angle than a lower camera angle. I never now, said here that. is a jar of olives that's obviously bigger than a thing of pepper, okay? It's like paprika or something like that in the orange. <clears throat> now, the, olives, the olive jar is obviously bigger. Now, I'm going to show you that by changing the position of the jar of olives and changing my camera height. A hold, it, Ranty. Right. Yeah, you didn't have him on present. Oh, good, Arwen. I did. You do, you do now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Okay. clears throat> or there's a huge delay on YouTube. That could be as well. There is a delay. Yes, All yeah, right. 30 seconds. Oh, I deal here, deal here, deal here anyway. As anyway, as continue, sir, for the interruption. It, it's no. for swearing. Hey, no, you did the right thing. You right can drop thing. in any time uh, you want to. This is we? for Blue Marvel Science, who's calling us a crowd of idiots, basically. He's saying we're like a crowd of children or something, listening to a says It's something like, it, where it's like listening to a crowd of children. That's what he said. Well, if you really want to know what I said, I said listening to you guys was like listening to a bunch of five-year-olds trying to explain where babies come from. Uh, in, in the uh, <clears throat> in the side chat. 
Today on Jose's Blue Marble Science stated that he did not understand how just because a camera height is lower should, that we should see less stuff um, and stuff should disappear from the bottom nope. uh, on a, on, on a flat. Say that. Okay, uh, he didn't understand how that could that could happen. Referencing the uh, observation that was made uh, with of the two platforms <clears throat> that has been the, the the Black Swan observation, the, the talking point of the week. <clears throat> so. Here is a jar of oh olives on the boy. list. Talking and, uh, I think point of the week. Probably gone to right. The olives is obviously a bigger. Mm. Uh, I don't bigger, think Moses uh, is going to be happy about that. More space. You can see the floor. Uh, totally not normal. Just a normal floor. No big curves or anything on it. Okay. Now I'm going to just change my camera height and the position of the jar of olives. It looks like the jar of olives. The bottom of it has disappeared due to the no, fraction. It doesn't. The diffraction limit has caused the bottom Nothing of it to start disappearing, and it seems to be sinking into the floor. There's a, there it is, occultated. You're seeing things, There buddy. it is again, sinking backwards down into the floor as if it's going over the curve. This is what you're talking about, Blue Marble Science. No. And you're calling me and the other people on this panel idiots. Are we understanding each other? Huh? You're an idiot! <laughs> and you don't even understand this. You want a bet? Is that gone over the curve? Blue Marble Science, can you come in and answer that? Is that gone over the curve? Well, I don't think it's gone anywhere. Here's a close-up. When you had the olive bottle closer to you, let's put some red lines on there at the top and the bottom of the bottle and a couple at the label just so we can keep things registered. Now let's superimpose a view after you move the olive bottle back to the back and see what we have. Hmm, top of the bottle lines up, the label lines up, and the bottom of the bottle has not disappeared. No, it didn't go over the curve. No, it didn't disappear. And no, it doesn't appear to be sinking into the table. You know, I know what the problem is, and I know just the guy that can explain this to you. <laughs> okay, one last time. These are small, but the ones out there are far away. <laughs> Well, let's move on to contestant number three. It's Chris Berry again. He didn't do so well with the Cavendish experiment, so let's give him another try, shall we? So now Chris is going to show us that spraying ice water in front of a stick will not result in any refraction whatsoever. Apparently, we're having a hard time understanding the difference in a few inches of atmosphere versus a few miles of atmosphere. Oh, boy. Just, just need a lot of water, that's all. It's going to take more water. Is that water cold? Maybe it's not cold enough. Let's just put some ice on it. See? Nothing works. No refraction. Well, there you have it, folks. Flat Earth experiments at their finest. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. There's a link to the Patreon. We'll have it uh, listed in the description also. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Hey, Gladys. <laughs> We're out of here. Alan! 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 Al! Alan! 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 D! 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 D!